हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विंडोज ऑटो पायलट एंड इट्स यूटिलाइजेशन विथ ऑफलाइन विंडोज ऑटो पायलट डिप्लॉयमेंट प्रोफाइल we understand that typically to initiate an autopilot process we need to upload the hardware hash or register the device with windows autopilot deployment service however there are certain scenarios or use case where this approach is feasible for performing the autopilot like transferring windows autopilot device between tenant using offline method in transferring windows autopilot devices between tenants using offline method we have to perform the several steps like the very first step from tenant a a device should first be removed from any assignments for autopilot profile where the convert existing device settings is enabled then from tenant a we have to deregister the device from the autopilot deployment service then we have to create a offline autopilot json file from for tenant b then from tenant a we have to deploy a powershell script that copies the offline autopilot profile which is the json file to for tenant b to the desired location ensuring that the deployment successful and the path of the json file should be under the windows directory provisioning folder and then there is a folder called autopilot and within that we have to copy a autopilot configuration file dot json then from tenant a we have to initiate a full wipe or we can do it using a remote reset then the device user set up the windows device with the new tenant b autopilot experience and in the tenant b we have to create a default autopilot profile and to assign to all the device with the setting convert existing device enabled this step automatically register all the devices in the autopilot deployment service and last we have to create a deployment from tenant b to remove the json file from the path so that we can ensure that next time when machine is performing the autopilot they are downloading the deployment profile from the windows autopilot deployment service in today's video i will be demonstrating how to export the json file using a powershell commands and guide you on where to save the json file to execute the offline autopilot after that we will explore the end user experience when the json file is successfully stored in the specific location so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos let me first quickly show you the configuration which i have configured in the intune portal so basically i have configured everything like in android devices under the windows enrollment i have already enabled the automatic enrollment and it is set for all and in the enrollment status page i have a enrollment status page created and it is assigned to all devices and deployment profiles is also created and it is also assigned within the azure ad join windows autopilot deployment profile in the property section make sure that we are enabling this option convert all target device to autopilot because when we are not uploading the hardware hash and once the machine is enrolled in the intune portal that deployment profile is automatically registering that device in the windows autopilot deployment service so that is mandatory if we are using this method and we can also see that i have configured the naming templates like the device name starts with cmp and then serial number and that is deployed to all devices and within the devices we can see that i have not registered the device in windows autopilot deployment service so let's jump into the client machine and see how we can do it now i am on my client machine and currently i am on out of box experience window 
I am going to select the region and then click on yes and within the keyboard layout I am going to select the keyboard as per my choice and then I am going to skip the secondary keyboard layout now at this point of time machine is checking whether the device is an autopilot device or not against the windows autopilot deployment service because we have not uploaded the hardware hash or we have not registered the device in autopilot deployment service machine is not going to get the deployment profile and now we can see that because the hardware hash is not uploaded user is getting a screen where they have to configure the device using their personal account or their organizational account now let's see how to configure this device so that this device can go through the autopilot so to configure this device to perform autopilot without uploading the hardware hash or without registering the device in windows autopilot service we have to download the deployment profile offline and we have to create a json file for that and then we have to save that json file in the predefined location so that machine can check that json profile and then they can read that json profile to perform an autopilot without uploading the hardware hash so to do this i am going to open the command prompt i am going to press shift plus f10 and i am going to open the powershell and i am going to open the powershell isc for that i have to type isc so here we have to run some command for that what i am going to do i am going to open the msh I just open the github location and where I have uploaded the commands which we have to run these are the Microsoft command I just captured those command in a text file so that we can just follow the steps and we can create the JSON file so for that we have to run all these commands let me copy all these commands in the ISC and then I can show you and then I will run it copy and and I have pasted it. The very first command we have to run is the set execution policy bypass. And we have to click on yes. Then we have to install the necessary modules. For that we have to run these five commands. And it's going to download and install the necessary modules. Now the required modules installed successfully. Third step is to import all these modules. So I'm going to execute these commands. Now it's module is also imported. Now we have to run the connect mg graph to connect the tenant. For that I am going to execute the step number four. Now it's asking me to authenticate with the username and password. So I'm going to use a Intune administrator account to connect the tenant. Now I am connected. Now next step is to get all autopilot profile available in the Intune tenant. For that I'm going to click on get autopilot profile and convert to autopilot configuration json file we can see that i have created one deployment profile in my intune tenant and we can see that same configuration here in the cloud assigned domain join method is equal to zero if it is zero meaning that it's a azure ready join deployment profile if it is one then it's a hybrid azure ready join deployment profile we can see that the cloud assignment device name this is the CMP and the serial number. This is the naming convention I have configured in my deployment profile. We have cloud assignment autopilot update timeout, which is 180 minute. And we have cloud assignment force enrollment is equal to one, meaning that the device should require as of directory as well as the MDM enrollment. And then we have the cloud assignment tenant ID. This is my as of directory tenant ID. 
then we have cloud assigned autopilot update disabled is equal to one then the jet tid correlation id then the profile name is as already joined windows autopilot profile and the cloud assign oob config is 1380 and we have cloud assign tenant domain which is cmp in june lab one dot on microsoft.com and the cloud assigned language is os default now the next step is to download this profile and convert into json file for that we have to run the powershell command mentioned in the step number six so i am going to select and i am going to run it now it's downloaded the uh, deployment profile and converted the deployment profile in a json format we can see that by opening the run command and in that we have to type c colon backslash autopilot and click on it's automatically created a folder based on the deployment name which we mentioned in the engine portal and within that we have a json file and if i am opening in the notepad file we can see the same thing and then next step is to move this file to the desired location for that what i am going to do i am going to copy this file and i am going to save this file under c drive windows within windows we have a folder called provisioning within provisioning we have a folder called autopilot and here we have to save this file make sure that the file name should be autopilot configuration file lot json please do not modify the name this should be the accurate naming convention for this file to work now next step is just to delete the folder which we have in the c drive so for that we are going to open the run command again i'm going to open the c colon backslash autopilot folder and i'm just going to delete this folder because that folder is no more required now that's all we have to do and let me close all these things now i'm going to restart this machine and we'll see that whether we are able to get the autopilot working or not now the machine is back again on the out of box experience window and at this time if you are running the shift plus f10 and open the command prompt and type host name we can see that the machine host name is starts with desktop let me select the options i'm going to select the reason now we can see that we are able to get the onboarding screen welcome to chandramani demo lab and at this point if we are opening the command prompt and typing the host name we can see that the name is also changed now we can enter the username and the password and now we can see that the device is enrolled in the in june and we are able to see the enrollment status page now we can see that user is able to log in with the as of direct credential and autopilot is also completed successfully now let's quickly validate the autopilot deployment in the intune portal now in the intune portal under all the devices we can see that the device is reporting in under all the devices and at this point if we are checking again in the android devices and within the device section under the windows autopilot deployment program we can see that the device hardware is still not uploaded it will take almost three to four days to upload the hardware hash automatically because we already enable the convert all target device to autopilot option in the deployment profile so that's all i want to show you in this video how we can perform offline autopilot without uploading the hardware hash let me know in the comment section if you have any question or doubt in this process
आई होप दिस इज एन इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो फॉर यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो